Warning, in this video I will insult you, and I will hurt your feelings. If you aren't a masochist, or you're afraid that you might enjoy it, please fuck off. What's up morons, my name is Infernal, and welcome to Critical Legends, and here is a cheap way to get you bastards to the end game in literally less than a day. For today's video, I have decided to record and showcase you the most broken combo that this game has yet offered, and I think that nobody knows of this yet. So listen the fuck up, we don't have much time. First things first, before we go on our infinite killing spree, we need to grab ourselves a couple items to make this forbidden build. So follow my instructions carefully and don't fuck it up. First, go to the Punky Islands by going through the forest and enter the ship that appears to be just as visible as your brain cells. Then drop off the ship, break your legs, and go around the forest until you see a campfire. Then turn right, facing the cave, and go straight. It's not that hard. If you morons are having a hard time following directions, then I don't know how you're going to survive this guy. Anyways, as you can see, there is a chest that will give us a passive item that lets us regen 1% of our mana every second. This will be important, so shut up and grab it. Next thing we're gonna need is the Soul Drain spell. To some, you may very well know what is about to happen. But for those who don't, <laughs> you're in for a surprise. Second thing second, try to get level 100 as fast as possible, which just requires to grab the ignition scroll with the mage class and spec literally every point in the magic, it's not that difficult. And then you proceed to watch as the feared tier 8 wolf proceeds to get evaporated out of existence. Now that you have level 100, go to the chest we were at last time, turn on 180 and go straight. It should lead you to a cave for seemingly bottomless pit that seems to represent your IQ. Jump into the pit, realize you didn't break your legs, and also hit the rock bottom of your thinking, just as you hit the rock bottom of the void. Now if you look off into the distance, you can see a little island with a chest on it. But you have no movement speed, nor jump boost, nor brain cells to get up there. So we are going to grab a couple things first. First, go back to one of the ships and return to Punky Islands. Then, buy the Curse Power Orb, which should be pocket change to you at this point. Anyways, move your scruffy looking ass over to the spawn ship and then go to the legit shop. In here, you want to buy the tea that definitely has no crack in it, and move back to the void. Now that you have these three items, pop the tea, jump with all your faith, and land on the island. Now grab the most important part of this build. The Soul Drain Scroll. Now that you collected all the pieces to make this forbidden build, reset your points because they are shit, and respec everything into magic and mana. Oh, and have just about like 4k health and shield to tank stuff. And now, equip the mana scroll along with the soul drain and see how much damage we're dealing. Holy sh! So yeah, the scaling for the soul drain is broken and absolutely busted, but that's not where our shenanigans end. If your non-existent perception allowed it, you might have been able to notice that with each press of the button you heal to full? Yeah, so now on top of the fact that you deal insane damage with no cooldown by the way, you also heal to full health at the cost of 1% of your mana. Even you smooth brain morons can survive a combo like this. Okay, okay. The reason why I call it a combo is because no matter what class you are playing, this combination only needs mana, magic, the scroll, and of course, the soul drain. And I'm not done yet. So after you complete this build, the next thing you should be getting is the storm in a bottle passive item. Since you don't need to worry about damage or health, your only priority is to avoid being one-shotted. And that's nearly impossible with this build, but I know damn well what I'm working with here. So, this is where movement speed comes in. My recommendation is cursed power up with storm in a bottle. Or, if jumping to next exoplanets is in your style, then go for cursed orb and energy core for high speed, high gravity, high octane gameplay. And there, you've done it. The most broken build in all of Critical Legends. I hope you idiots won't get up to too much mischief with this build as it's fucking busted. Now you're also probably itching to find out if this build is actually good. So let's give you a little preview, shall we? Alright, so this is the highest health boss that I could get my mittens on. Starting off at exactly 500,000 health. Now, 
I'm not sure how fast I can kill this, but uh, there's one thing that I can tell you. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Let's get to it then. Starting off nicely. Now even if I get hit, I, I literally just heal back to full. <laughs> my face when? Dude, my face when? Soul Drain. And truly <laughs> the most overpowered build. So yeah, now you can revel in agony as you heal yourself to full with no apparent drawback. And I'll have to unfortunately thank you little shits for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.